All right. Thank you for staying with us here on the AM show. Uh, thank you for all the messages on cervical <laughs> cancer. Absolutely love it. Uh, people are reaching out from all areas. I see all the messages and I'm going to respond appropriately. A very good morning uh, to my friend Angela Corte. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you uh, also for the comments uh, on Dear AM. Now, what we're doing today is a wrap of showbiz some of the big uh, stories that happened in show business but before that i just want to say to you that joy news is now free to air your first and uh, number 124 uh news channel is now available on di digital television multi tv dstv channel 421 go tv channel 144 and live streaming from saturday 8th of february 2020 joy news can be accessed anywhere and anytime in ghana so tune in on all platforms join news your most credible news source uh, ghana's first and only 24-hour news channel now roland let's welcome maps yeah maps what up Ma what, 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 what has been dominating your entertainment platform this week well a lot uh, but <laughs> we'll start with the unfortunate passing of kofi b mm. yeah a lot of people thought that uh, he had passed on before his performance uh, in cape coast but when we spoke to colleague musician uh kofi he said it was before uh his performance at cape coast so Coffee oh, it wasn't after. No, it wasn't after because they were supposed to perform on Sunday, okay. uh, like afternoon, evening, into the evening. But Coffee Bee passed away sa Sunday dawn, okay. so at 3 a.m. But we were speaking to him, and this is what he had to say. Oh, so rest that's, in peace. That's, that's a big loss to So I this. thought yeah, he I like had industry. done his last show. Apparently, he couldn't he even couldn't, perform. Unfortunately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Another thing that's been trending. Kofi Ajololo yeah. is telling the producers <laughs> that they should pay him his, his money. money yeah. He's demanding his money. And you know, a lot of people have been talking about this, commenting about yeah. this. A lot of industry but he's players. Rich. You just have to Google him. He's about 800 thousand and he dollars. said that he looked he? like he's 800 uh, he's worth 800 dollars <laughs> 800 thousand dollars he asked the interviewer oh he look, did yeah oh, okay but if you missed that uh video check it out <laughs> says in ghana here yeah, they should respect themselves they oh, old man like me they call me and come and work and then they can't pay me and I, oh, about seven producers in this country they owe me monies t t t t like that why and then I'm sitting at home and I'm, I'm hungry. And when I'm sick too, they don't, when I'm sick, nobody, look, we have elder, elderly people sick lying there. And producers owe them. They don't even give them money. Why? I'm being real here. How many, you said seven producers haven't paid you. They you owe want me you. to name them? Oh, yeah. All the big producers in Ghana, some of them, they owe me 2,000, 3,000, 1,000. My, my actors out the whole Ghana here, the actors, they know what I'm talking about. Producers don't pay. The they, they producers owe actors. Younger, you ask for the young actors, they don't even pay them. Because of the passion they have for acting, they come and do the work, they don't pay them. I am saying this, me, Kofi Adjol, I'm saying this. Is, is, I'm so angry here. Eh? Could that be the reason why the, the industry is not that vibrant? I don't know. I can't tell if it's because of that. But if the industry is so vibrant, then I think the stakeholders have to sit down and think. And these same producers are the stakeholders, and they keep talking, talking, talking. Meantime, the artists who are making, who are the ones acting, they don't pay them. So why do you keep on acting? I am angry. Eh? Why do you keep on acting? Why shouldn't you act? Me, I left this job they're doing. You know how many years I did your job? I know. That's and I left it because I, no, because I left this your job with camera in front of me. How many years? Over 17 years I was doing this your job. But I left because I, I needed to do acting. I came into acting too. Nothing is happening to me. No money. How many years have you acted? How many producers have you acted? Me, Kofi Adol, they on the internet say I'm worth $800,000. Me. Me. 800 what? Are you more than? More. Oh, you're not even there. The thing I'm, I'm talking about, if I was more than 800, you, you, you ask me. Ask me better questions, Mr. Interview, interviewer. All right, so Kofi Ajololo ball, rough. Um, yeah. Yvonne Nelson uh, thought <sighs> that uh, Kofi Ajololo was speaking the truth, and she's behind him 100%. Mm. But we spoke to one of the producers, Ola Michael, and he says, you know what? Kofi Ajololo and some of these actors mismanage their money. So it's not like we don't pay them. It's because we pay you and then you bring girls on set. You give the girls mm. the money. You'll be asking for these hotels. You'll be going here. You'll be spending the money somewhere, anyhow. But Ola Michael said, Kofi Ajololo, you shouldn't have done this. You should have spoken to them as, you know, brother, 
father type uh, of But you owe me. What's what's brotherly about you owe you me they, and oh, they, they do yeah. owe. Look. They, uh, they do uh, owe. No, no, no. Uh -huh. My experience, even apart from what Kofi Ajololo uh, is speaking about, yeah. has always been the producers. And it transcends even beyond film. It could be even be normal advert or promotional that yeah. you've undertaken for producers. Mm. And they also owe you money. They'll owe you, they'll bring the next job, and they'll pay the old one, and they'll owe you yeah. a, a balance of the new one. Mm -hmm. And it's a continuous process. Do, do we have Ola explaining himself? Yes, we do. First of all, it's not fair for you to work with an actor and not pay the actor. I also think that um, producers that probably do not pay actors are uh, cheats. But I can also tell you that most of these actors too are cheats. Apart from they not knowing how to manage their money, I think that their cheating attitude is what brings this. Now, let me, me, I just like to be blunt. This whole thing came up because Mr. Ajolu met my producer for Madhouse and he got angry that we were owing him. But I want to tell him that me, I don't owe him a Kobo, I don't owe him a Peswa. Um, as the forecast, he said, you must see in Yakatia. You can't do half job and expect to be paid food money. It, has, it doesn't happen. Now, this is what happened. We contracted you to, do, to work with us on a set. We had a number of days that we were going to work. Now, before we started, you said your mom had passed on and you would like to seek permission midway to go. Even before you finished saying it, three people came to me saying, Ah, but uncle, your mom passed away like two years ago. Another person said, Ah, but you just excuse you, I've been using it over and over. I have paid you half, saying that before we are done with the rest, uh, with the rest of your sins, you take your other money. And in fact, on set, everybody's check was ready. And then you leave the set, go for a certain funeral that we didn't even know was true or not, and then call me four days after we have done with the production that you are now coming for the rest of your sins. Who does that? I had to go for somebody to replace you and change the script because of you. Change the whole script. So that it doesn't look like an actor left in the middle of the shoot. That is why people were watching, they don't even see whether he left or not. But that's the truth, he left. So you come back and tell me. All right, so that's Ola Michael. Uh, yeah. The film producers of Ghana are asking for an apology in the next 14 days. From Kofi Ajololo? From Kofi Ajololo. Right. Yeah, so they so say... So they've that, ganged up against him. For saying he, they, they, they owe him. Yeah, first of they all... They are like a cartel, right? Yeah, they didn't appreciate how... They are like a cartel. Yes, how, how the whole thing went. They uh, say that they know nothing about... Let's see if we can put the statement, statements up. They know nothing about uh, it. Okay, so let's go up. Mm. So... Keep going, keep going, keep going. The, let's get to the yeah paragraph. Okay, so uh, film uh, producers of Ghana uh, have never received any of such complaints from him, nor ever had the opportunity to learn it from any quarters. It is, however, mind-boggling as to why he behaved the way he did in the said interview. And in that regard, let's go to the last paragraph that a lot of people are talking about. Uh, they're hereby issuing a strong warning to groups or individuals in the industry who have made it their business to slander the industry anytime the opportunity is given. Uh, to them. Right. So what they're saying is that they're basically threatening uh, in a nice way, they're threatening any actor or uh, actress if you're going to speak out like that then we will deal with you. That's basically what they're saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is not the last of this. I know Elikem Kumoji and others are also yes. talking about it. Uh, maybe this is one trend that will probably continue into the next week. Uh, Maps, yes. thank you very much. Thank You're back you on much. Interactive later this morning. Yes, at 11 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, you know. To All join right. the conversation, we'll Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, we'll join you on TV. Nice. We'll see you later for the this show morning. For the morning. Exactly. On behalf of Mikaela Richter Anderson Nye, our lead producer this morning, and the rest of the crew, enjoy your weekend. We will see you, Godwin, next week.